Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw this time, it is going to be on My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission. That's right, I just got out and saw this. Yeah, I know it's been like almost five days uh, since this movie's been out, but uh, I still have the three movies to see. Um, the last three movies I reviewed, um, I had to see them first, plus I was out of town, so that's why it took me so long uh, to see this movie, and uh, I am a really big fan of this franchise, so yeah, you can see by um, the... Can, can I say something for the, for the, for the, in fact... For the what? For the, for the, for the, for, for give, some, give someone commentary, in fact? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hello? Hey, name's Elijah Woodson. Writer, director, producer, animator of my, my short films, The Fulvania Diamond, Duty Drama, At the Club, Pop Rising Contest, and, and uh, the upcoming A Day in My Life, which comes out comes soon on YouTube and on DVD soon enough. I want to let you know that G, that G Kids will, will be... That, anim that the, this year's animation is film festival has given out three have a few good hit good hints, and uh, you'll be looking to seeing some of them, and probably by next year. But but you need to look forward to Where Is Anne Frank by Ari Folman, which is it's gonna blow me away as much as he did with the Congress and Waltz with Bashir. And anyways, that's 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 it from today. I. I hope you I hope you enjoy my my new two short films, Little Lizard and Like Dirt. They're going to be coming soon enough. All right, so. all right, all right. Uh, check me out. I'm Matthew Davis Media. Uh, so yeah, um, all right. So that was that. Now, anyways, on to the review. My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission uh, involves Azuka Midoriya and all of his friends uh, going out on a world mission to stop this evil bad guy from spreading like this virus infecting the entire world um, because this one villain finds corpse to be like uh, some infection to the world. So is, and when Azuku runs into this, this one guy carrying like a briefcase or something uh, named Rhodey, uh, he, something happens uh, in the town and now he is uh, known as wanted in that city because apparently they think he killed like 12 people. So um, during then they have to of course stop the virus and you know, or stuff like that. Not really a virus, just an infection that uh, this uh, villain is going to spread as well as you know, we learn more about this one character and how he's uh, trying to protect his uh, two siblings while trying to work because his parents are gone. But uh, yeah, now I've really gotten into this franchise um, all year because uh, yeah, I really wanted to get into more anime series and I just finished season five. I'm wearing my Hero Academia shirt right now and, and I even have uh, my Hero Academia wall. This is uh, something that my sister gave me. And uh, I did uh, watch the two uh, movies that came before this. Uh, uh, two Heroes and Heroes Rising. Heroes Rising was playing last year. I didn't get to see it because I did not know anything about uh, My Hero Academia. So, um, but now, um, since this new movie came out, I got all caught up. So now I was able to see this movie and I had a lot of fun with this one, okay? Um, of course, when it comes to these movies, they are mostly aimed towards fans. I feel like if you're gonna check the movies out, I feel like you should watch the anime series first because people will have no idea what's going on. Like, what's with all the characters, you know, with the powers, how do they get their powers and stuff. Azuku mentions his backstory once again in the movie, like he mentioned so many other times, and in the previous movies and stuff. So yeah, you really have to watch the series in order to fully understand what's going on in these movies. But anyways, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one, okay? It's pretty much exactly what I expected. Um, the first half of the movie doesn't really have a whole lot of action, more like building up to the story. The first half is usually like kind of like a buddy road trip-ish movie because Azuku is trying to learn more about the one guy, Rhodey. But uh, when it gets to the second half, it is completely different. It gets a lot more crazy. There's a lot more action, and there's a lot more stuff going on in the film. And it's a lot bloodier for a PG-13 movie, but it's something that I kind of expected since anime is definitely a lot bloodier than, you know, cartoons. Like, they're able to show off a lot more blood and stuff like that. And honestly, it has pretty much exactly what the show has. It has quite a bit of heart, and I really like the introduction of the one character, uh, Rhodey. I actually really dug his character, although his arc is kind of a little bit similar to something that happened in Heroes Rising. 
like involved. He's trying to protect two siblings, a uh, younger brother, younger sister, and they're both kids. Um, the last movie involved two kids who are trying to protect each other as well. Um, but hey, I still really dug the story here and the experience as well. The experience was fantastic to see on the big screen. Although there was like this one battle sequence that I didn't feel like was very well animated and that's during a canyon and a helicopter and stuff. I didn't really feel like uh, that sequence was very well animated. I mean, the action was fun, but it was kind of ruined by that one animation sequence. Also, when it gets, when the movie ends, like, there's just one question I had, like, what happened now? Like, is Azuku, like, no longer wanted for murder, even though he never committed murder? Like, it's something that I didn't really feel got answered that much because there's no part in the news when they're all like uh, Midoriya's a hero again so he's no longer wanted like that that's something that never really happens uh, once you know when it gets to the conclusion or anything like that in fact I kind of forgot that there was a story arc to that also I would have really liked it if some of the characters like you know the rest of these characters I mean we see a lot of Todoroki and uh, Bakugo but uh, we don't really see that much of Ochako or Suya or anything like that, or that grapehead guy or anything like that. But uh, like they don't really show up. Like I would have really liked it if they had like some side stories uh, during the movie, but, but uh, they don't really show up until like they're fully needed like on screen. But these are basically just nitpicks. I mean, I still had a really fun time. Like I feel like fans are really gonna have a great time with this one. I'm a fan of the franchise and I really dug this one. Though my personal favorite in the, in the series um, in terms of the movies would definitely be Heroes Rising. I still thought this was a very uh, fun uh, sequel sort of but it's definitely a fun installment in the movie series it has all the action that uh, fans uh, would come to expect um, it has a really satisfying final battle sequence with Izuku which I'm not going to spoil or Deku because that's his hero name but still I was very happy with this one uh, I really hope uh, we get to see more uh, when it comes to these movies and I cannot wait for more of the series when we get to the next season next year and I just can't wait to see what happens when we get to that final uh, season which I don't know when I, I hope it doesn't come anytime soon because I've really been getting into the series a lot and I am really really hooked on it now so yeah um i definitely recommend checking this one out if you're a huge fan of the series if you're not really a fan of the series then i don't think you're going to enjoy the movie as much i recommend being a fan of the series before checking this out well i cannot say it is better than uh the other anime uh, film based off tv series that came out this year demon slayer the movie but hey this was still i still had a really fun time with this one and i do have the first two movies on blu-ray i i do want to get this one for my collection as well anyways uh thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to be seeing eternals tomorrow night probably going to review that on friday so yeah also thanks to uh elijah who uh, just showed up and uh, gave his quick advertisement uh really hope that helps this channel uh, build a little bit i'm not i'm not really sure but it was great to have uh, a short guest cameo so yeah that wasn't really expected but it's nice to see so anyways uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later word out